trigonometric and hyperbolic functions, what are they? Actually, it's a very broad topic to discuss, but for the first presentation, it will be narrowed down to a small sub-topics. And the first topic that I will discuss is on circular function. So what is circular function? Okay, a function ft is said periodic if ft plus a equal to ft for period a for all t. Okay, basically that's how you relate a circular function okay, with the uh, its characteristic. So trigonometric function is basically uh, representing the relation between opposite adjacent hypotenuse of a triangle. So the basic function for trigonometric function is cos theta, which is actually adjacent over hypotenuse, sin theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse, where the graph for these two function can be represented as this. And the other important trigonometric function is tangent theta, which is equal to opposite over adjacent. And the graph for tangent theta can be represented by this. So what are the other functions? There, there are quite a lot of functions for the trigonometric function itself. So the other one is cosecant theta, which is equal to 1 over sine theta. Cotangent theta, which is equal to 1 over tangent theta. And cosecant theta equal to 1 over cos, cos theta. So try this example. Simplify 1 over tangent theta plus cot theta. So how do you solve this example? Basically, for this equation, what you can do is to replace tangent theta with sine theta over cos theta and to replace cotangent theta with cos theta over sine theta then you can simplify this equation and what you will get is cos theta times sine theta over sine square theta plus cos square theta. As you know, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So the final answer will be cos theta times sine theta. Easy, right? And for hyperbolic function, it is actually cos x equal to 1 over 2 multiply with e to the power x plus e to the minus x and sine sin x equal to 1 over 2 multiply with e to the x minus e to the minus x and another one tan x which is actually uh, sin x over cos x and the graph that represent the hyperbolic functions are uh, illustrated at the top corner on the right on the top right corner okay so what's next so these are the example of the inverse hyperbolic functions and what do their graph look like? Do you have any idea? So basically, for the inverse hyperbolic sign, the graph is look like this. Okay, and for the inverse hyperbolic cos, cos, sorry, the graph is look like this. And finally. For the inverse hyperbolic tangent, the graph is like this. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it.